Good morning. Welcome to ABC 123 Trader. Today is October 8th, 2020. It is 9.04 a.m. And let's start taking a look at the, the futures this morning. So in the pre-market, uh, everything is looking on the upside. The U.S. 10-year uh, is on the downside. Oil, since I used to be in the oil industry, is still hurting for Canadians out there at 40 bucks a barrel. And so the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ futures are all pointing on the upside. News comes out saying jobless claims were worse than expected amid the hiring. We'll see if that can shake the market for a pullback for continuation. That's what I'm looking at. On the, on the Fox Business side, we will take a look. Everything's pointing up, and they're complaining about debates. So it's still going to be bouncing around here. But interesting enough, stock futures rise following Pence-Harris debate. Let's take a little quick uh, kind of... Uh, Catalysts they're trying to push in here. Uh, as stimulus drops, IBM flips. You know, I hate when they do that. When you click on an article, and it's a different name. But whatever, I'm not even going to go into there. So, technical side. We had our major pullback for two cycles here. I'll have to check what the news event was on this section. I can't remember. But, this was the area that we were where we're waiting for and actually I want to show you something else here when a good pullback does happen okay mark this on your not on your calendars but in your notes if you're if you're taking notes here one cycle two cycles okay let's go to COVID time this one was a little bit longer one cycle two cycles when you have a good pullback okay even at the halfway mark see where it was just starting to sputter and stall one two okay put that in your put that in your in your memory banks there so we had our one cycle second one a little bit shorter got down onto our technical side where you can see the volume point of control at 3217 3215 hit 98 so it's within that range and now she's returning using technical analysis on the GAN, we are breaking. So now we're going to start getting into our cycle again. This is this is the area that you have to watch. And I said, you got to wait for the GAN mathematics and away you go. Everything is math based here. So what I'm going to be using now for volume point of controls is of course within these two zones here. I'll draw a rectangle so you can understand. So between this cycle and this cycle is an area where I'm gonna look for support and resistance. So within these 15 point range, but now we're pushing. Looks like it's an aggressive day. We have a line in the sand here and I'll show you why. Remember this was the 3400 level yesterday. All day yesterday was just hammering. I just said I had enough and then it takes off when you always leave. So that's the first thing. Number two. Let's take a look at the, at, at the, the regular chart here. Okay, so uh, on the regular on the regular chart, as you can see, since yesterday, this was all uh, where was yesterday thirty four hundred boom, cross right here, it was vibrating and vibrating and vibrating forever, and then she finally popped, and this was our move continuation on. Okay, now we have a market maker line, so our support and resistance, as you can see, is at. Th 3410 so if it does come down we're good to go we can see there's major resistance at at this level here at uh, 3430 see this wick here so there's something fishing around there okay take a look at it we are long enough with within our uptrend it's it's getting closer and closer for them to uh, continue on when when Trump announced uh, about the stimulus package and everything crashed and it was frustrating. I was at Costco's at the time because I was sitting here again, scratching my head. He says, oh, my gosh, the markets are so boring. And then boom. And then you get all angry. But the key is, is when you're when you're doing analysis and I'm going to show you a few other things that are totally different that I don't usually sh uh, show on my screen because I've been doing a ton of programming before uh, before November here. And it's not because of election. It's just I I go from north to south I travel south for the winter so I can set up my shop down there so I, I want to get all this done is 
when, when I do an analysis and try to project directions, let's say, I haven't shown this in a while, and it's called the market scanner. And what, what I use it for is I look for the big chunks of time. This is chatter. This possibly can be chatter again. But when you see big chunks in the morning from 2.15 all the way to 14.30, arrow line on the red, so let's say 2.15 to 15.30, that's the area of interest for me for trading on a longer term time frame. So you can see, uh, I'll go F7 here so you can see. So point A to point B. That's the trade I want. And that would have been from 2.30 till market, basically market close. So that's the one thing I wanted to show you. So when we're getting into the doldrums, the trading doldrums, you, you could see the chatter, 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 a lot of chatter, and then boom, whatever that, that announcement was. But whenever you get the longer, when you, whenever you get into the longer time frames from tw uh, 2200, to 1700 people that are using the trial pack let's say from there I'm a little off let's move this to here and you draw your arrow uh, why can I never see the arrow that one right here that's the area we're looking for and then from that point you start looking at your print or you're looking at your order flow and you're looking at all that other stuff. So I know this is my time of interest. And if you're only trading, you know, um, from 930 or market open on, we, we look at, are we at the market makers line? So right here, let's see what the timestamp is. That's three in the morning and here's New York. So we're within close to that range. So we're on the right direction. And I also look at a few other things, but this is the main gist of it. So when we're doing a top-down approach, we're breaking through, bullish, bullish, great. Now, now we got our we got our energies going. Number two, uh, uh, where's my? There we go. Here we do it again. See what the market makers are. What are our volumes? We're we're tightening up here. It looks like possibly of a breakout before market open. I'll look at 10 a.m. That's my time. I'm only trading between times, point A, point B, point A, point B. So I don't have to sit around by the computer all day. I do right now because I'm programming. Okay, number now let's let's go into a little farther of the analysis, and then I'm going to shut her down so I can get ready for for my trading day here. Where's my chart here? So um, where is our, where is my chart? There we go. So then what I'll do is when I get closer and closer to the minutia of, because I only trade, some people trade a whole bunch of uh, instruments. I only focus on one. If you get it good at one, then, then why do you need to trade a whole bunch? On ES, maybe so it might be a little different story because I'm finding out there's a lot more um, slow times. But what, what I'll do is, when, I, when I'm getting closer and closer to the area of interest, for example, right here, because I'm getting back into the market maker line or getting within the, the leap track cloud, everything's tightening up properly, I will look this section, this white arrow, the, or sorry, white peak, high energy, should be coming down didn't come down that much and continue on over and over and over again okay so so what I'll be looking for now because this is a, a 2000 tick this is getting a little choppy right now see we got a lot of tight times here which I don't like but I say 10 o'clock is the one I'm interested in so now when I'm getting closer to my time frame 945 10 15 10 20 probably 10 30 10 45 because I got a, a double uh, time stamp here this is the area I'm really interested. This is going to be probably my main trade for today. Okay, we'll have to see how the energies perform on that one. And then lastly, I want to just show you people who scalp or look at uh, order flow and all that other stuff. Because I've been working on a few things here. So I've been creating a scalping system for the ES 
so you can make four ticks here, four ticks there. And so what you'll do is you'll get best of both worlds. You'll kind of kind of get a, a delta order flow print. And if you're not used to the numbers, basically order flow here to see where the support and resistance are. So right now, this is that seller's area where they don't want to, they want to hold the market. Okay, and the buyers were way down here. As you can see, you can see your print on the buyer's delta down here. So there's a lot of heavy delta right up here, as you can see. Then you can read the numbers for uh, regular you know regular delta you know we have our, our our regular delta which is positive so you can see there's a lot of positive energy here maximum delta so we're really in the peak minimum delta and the cum cumulative delta and total volume so right now within this bar there's over 50,000 contracts being bought and sold the numbers up top number five I, because you can switch this to any chart, this delta, so and you can expand and shrink it. So I, I'm just recording the last 24 bars, so you can see exactly how the flow has been going. That's the first thing. Okay, and then people that are on, let's say, order flow print. I'll have to move this chart over because I've been working on it. here we go again for order flow, order flow print and as you can see they're trying to tap this upper area so they, they attempted a couple of times there's still resistance there must be a lot of volume right in this zone here because they they tapped it once doesn't show many numbers tapped it again tapped it again now so what you can do is you can check 13 14 15 16 bar 16 wasn't as much volume as you expect so now it's 17 still positive delta for the rejection but see how it went from positive to negative there's a total inverse here 122 634 so that's how you use this of course I didn't write this order flow I bought this way before I started programming when I was trying to learn how to trade and then the numbers I got too scared with the numbers at that time because I didn't know what the heck I was doing in my early days so but because I do have uh, some some of these tools in my arsenal I'm trying to build things that maybe uh, traders do have so other than that boom 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 there we go other than that that's it for today I'm expecting the market will go up and uh, we'll go from there and if you guys want on the discord if you join us i ask you to subscribe tweet a few times so people can understand what i'm doing here you know join an exchange with us because we have general trade chat that guys will talk there's not many people talk because it's such a, a new area okay if you have a trading question put a trading question in here if you if you speak it so habla espanol you can escribe aquí investors pack um, I, I'm going to create some templates that people are asking but now what I have here if you guys want to try the or the trial as well um, investor pack trial just come here downloader there you go try it out ask questions that's what the investors pack is will give you everything that I've basically written and it gets you to test it out. This is not in the investors pack, this Delta thing right now, because I've just I've been programming it yesterday and it will be uploaded. But everything else is in there. And ask questions so you can understand not only what I can see. I want you guys that are trying to be consistent traders. I'm throwing every tool in the arsenal here so we can figure out what type of trader, if you're a scalper, if you're a swing trader, if you're a position trader. and and get that leading edge and that's about it so other than that uh, just make sure you pinpoint your trade trade see if you have any questions email me join the discord I'll be a little more proactive in it soon I'm just you know when you're when you're uh, doing programming plus trading plus well of course uh, fall work but other than that um, yeah just join us other than that make sure you pinpoint your trades trade safe and you guys have a great day bye